looked earlier at some of the requirements for a near-Earth habitat. What additional requirements may be needed for a long-term deep space mission? Well, when thinking about the differences in a deep space mission, one of the key things is going to be power. So you're going to have to be further away from the sun, collecting enough direct sunlight to grow fruit food really isn't going to be possible. There are two options here. Either you initially equip the habitat with all the power that's going to need for however long the mission is going to take, or you equip it with some of the power needed and enable it to collect enough power from the surroundings to make up the difference. Now the ideal power source is going to have to meet some very specialised requirements in order to fulfil this role. The power source has to be relatively small. The generating machine itself can be quite large. In order to make any habitat function, you can't have nearly all of the space taken up by the fuel source. The power source also has to be non-polluting, so any waste, gases, etc. all have to be controlled in such an enclosed environment. Providing enough power but killing the people in the process isn't really a workable solution. It has to be controllable, producing the energy in a controlled manner and in a usable form, one that can be, for example, used to light the habitat. And the most likely candidate for this power source is going to be in form of nuclear fusion. However, the main issue with a fusion power plant is it's yet to be successfully created, though in theory it could do the job that was required of it. And one of the other key issues is the health of the human beings on board. The human body is adapted to live life on Earth, and that includes the gravity of Earth. Without the gravity of the Earth, the human bones become much weaker and muscles and the immune system are all uh, degraded as a result. These factors, along with a host of minor issues, also mean that some form of gravity needs to be created for a long-term mission to be viable. We don't yet know if the gravity needs to be as strong as that on Earth, or if we could make do with a reduced amount of gravity and have only some minor issues. But, whatever the level of gravity needed, there are two practical methods for creating an acceptable artificial gravity effect. These may be suitable for different types of mission. The first is suitable for a trip to another star system on a generational vessel or some kind of long-term mission to somewhere. Now, as an object accelerates, anything inside the vessel experiences a g-force, an artificial gravity. If that vessel was constantly accelerating halfway to a destination, then were to be constantly decelerating for the second half, this would achieve the desired result. In addition, the journey time would be relatively short, and also the slow speed when approaching the destination would allow for surveys and landing on a suitable planet to be carried out. The downside, of course, is fuel. For the entire length of the journey, the engines would need to be operating and not break down, and even a form of ion drive may not be able to both create the levels of thrust required and achieve it over a sustained level of time. Now, if you don't need to actually move the habitat, then rotation is the other practical alternative. As the habitat rotates about its axis, the further people are from the axis, the greater the gravitational effect that people feel due to the centrifugal force. And during this rotation, downwards or beneath people's feet will be the outer wall of the habitat and then space, and upwards will be the axis of the habitat. This rotation will have to be powered and managed somehow, and also produce additional stresses on the hull, which need to be strengthened. However, these minor difficulties compared to any other theoretical method of creating gravity like magnetism. These are some of the major issues that need to be overcome before we can exist in space. Some difficult problems, but not some impossible ones.